Lately, I've stepped out of my comfort zone and I started taking more photos. I went sightseeing, visited different countries and went to gigs and music festivals. For reasons related to social anxiety, I was not able to procure footage from there, but this local park is pretty sweet as well. I took a lot of photos, but editing them turned out to be quite difficult. Since I had to navigate through all the files, import them and then fidget with the digital sliders. I had to come up with a solution so I can do it faster, but also be more physically involved in the process. That's when I decided to make a Lightroom controller. For all of my projects, I start by designing a schematic. I use EasyEDA since I have all of my most frequently used parts saved so I can reuse them, which really speeds up my workflow. Then I convert the schematic to a PCB and create the PCB layout. Finally, with the help of today's sponsor, JLC PCB, I have those PCBs manufactured. JLC PCB is a one-stop shop for all your electronic projects needs. They make the cheapest but top quality PCBs. They provide flexible PCBs, PCB assembly, SMT stencils, PCB layout service, 3D printing, CNC machining, mechatronic parts and more. The ordering process is very simple, straightforward and intuitive. You simply export the Gerber files for your PCB from EasyEDA and drag them over to JLC PCB, where you will get an instant quote. For your boards, you can choose various settings like board thickness, color and more. Order your PCBs from JLC PCB by signing up with the link in the description and get a sweet coupon discount. I received the PCBs in only 4 days once they were manufactured. In the meantime, I designed an enclosure and gathered all the components. And simply by waving my hand over the PCB, the components were magically soldered onto the board. It is a wonder how the same exact thing happened for the switches. Now that we have a finished controller, it is time to tackle the software. Since there is no direct integration with Lightroom for all the controls, the easiest way to solve this issue is to send MIDI data from the controller and use a plugin called MIDI2LR to map those MIDI commands to specific functions in Lightroom. Since I wanted to be as efficient as possible, I mapped the encoders and sliders to the basic tone settings and the switches to toggle presets, rate images, change aspect ratios and more. Let's edit an image together to see it in action. First, I'd like to press these buttons to rate the images so I can filter them. Then, I usually enable profile corrections. Next, I use the potentiometers to change the tint. 
and the encoders are mapped to exposure, contrast, highlights, shadows, whites and blacks. Basically all the basic tone settings. Clicking the encoder will reset the slider. The last two potentiometers are mapped to change the texture and clarity. And I'll keep it simple for this one. So this is the final shot. That's all for this video, thank you for watching and be sure to subscribe for more projects like this. As always, you can purchase this product or download all the project files for free, including the schematic, Gerber files, 3D model and Arduino code. My name is Risto and I will see you next time.